let's begin with describing big data. These are the three primary drivers for big data. Increasing data volumes, increasing data and analysis complexity, and changing economic and emerging technologies. The annual growth of worldwide information volume is 59% and continues to rise. This explosion of new data is driven by a full range of traditional and non-traditional sources like sensors, devices, bots and crawlers. The real growth in data is coming from unstructured data, and the myth that 80% of unstructured data has no value has been debunked by examples like the success of search engine providers and e-retailers who unlock the value of clickstream data. The requirement to store, analyze, and mine structured and unstructured data is becoming the new norm. Cloud computing and commodity hardware have radically reduced the acquisition cost of computational and storage capacity. Commodity hardware is being complemented by new distributed parallel processing frameworks like Hadoop, which when combined with a rich ecosystem of tools, provides a platform for tackling massive data processing tasks. Today, new types of questions are being asked to drive the business. These include questions on social and web analytics. What is my brand and product sentiment? How effective is my online campaign? Who am I reaching? How can I optimize or target the correct audience? Questions also that require connecting to live data feeds. A large shipping company uses live weather feeds and traffic patterns to fine tune its ships and truck routes, leading to improved delivery times and cost savings. Retailers analyze sales, pricing, and economic, demographic, and live weather data to tailor product selections at particular stores and to determine the timing of price markdowns. Questions that require advanced analytics, including examples with financial firms using machine learning to build better fraud detection algorithms that go beyond the simple business rules involving charge frequency and location to also include an individual's customized buyer patterns ultimately leading to a better customer experience. Big data solutions then deal with the complexities of volume, of variety, and of also velocity. Big data represents the trends, technologies, and potential for businesses to obtain valued insights from large, of structured, unstructured, and fast-moving data sets. The classic data systems typically implemented with relational databases. These transactional applications are classic examples of systems processing transactions. They are highly structured data systems. We then see the evolution of larger systems driven through Web 2.0. These systems are about how people and things interact with each other or with the business. Weblogs, user click streams, social interactions and feeds, and user-generated content are classic places to find interaction data. Big data, then, is about the era of ambient data and Internet of Things. Sensors for heat, motion, pressure, and RFID and GPS chips within such things as mobile devices, ATM machines, and even aircraft engines providing just some examples of things that output ambient signal. There are multiple types of data, personal, organizational, public, private, so we ask that you do not limit your thinking to just data that flows through an organization. Organization data could benefit from blending with external data too. Big Data expands the capabilities of traditional BI to derive meaningful new insights from new types of data faster, better, and more comprehensively at a lower cost than previously possible. There is an enormous opportunity to gain competitive advantage by moving first and fast in your industry. Apache Hadoop, then, is an open source solution framework that supports data intensive distributed applications on large clusters of commodity hardware. Any organization looking at their current data infrastructure and seeing a significant shift in the volume, variety, or velocity of data is experiencing big data. The key attributes of Apache Hadoop include that it's open source, highly scalable, runs on commodity hardware, it's redundant and reliable 
and it uses a batch processing centric paradigm named map reduce. Let's now describe several misconceptions by outlining what Hadoop is not. Hadoop is a complement, not a replacement, as seen in the view of an enterprise data warehouse. It acts as another cog in the data analytics systems that must play well with others. Hadoop is not a place to learn how to code. There are currently a lot of assumptions in the Hadoop APIs and documentation. Assumptions that you know the basics of Java programming and of the common error message you get when things don't work. If you do know about class paths, how to compile and debug Java code, step back from Hadoop and learn a bit more about Java before proceeding. The Hadoop Distributed File System, HDFS, is optimized to access batches of data sets quickly, rather than particular records in that data set with low latency. Applications that require low latency access to data in the tens of millisecond range will not work well with Hadoop. Let me now describe some industry scenarios of Hadoop. Financial services, modeling true risk and threat analysis, fraud detection and trade surveillance. With retail, point of sales transaction analysis, customer churn analysis, sentiment analysis. With telecommunications, customer churn prevention, network performance optimization, call detail record analysis and network failure prediction. In manufacturing, supplier consolidation, supply chain and logistics, in healthcare, genomics research, cancer research, health pandemic, early detection, and air quality monitoring. With utilities, oil and gas, smart meter stream analysis, and in the public sector, analysis of public sentiment, fraud, and waste detection. And so what is Hadoop? defined as a highly reliable distributed and parallel programming framework for analyzing big data. It's a Java-based open source Apache project capable of running on a variety of hardware platforms, including clusters of commodity hardware. The Hadoop core includes a reliable file system, the Hadoop distributed file system referred to by its acronym HDFS. It includes a framework that enables development of programs based on MapReduce or directed a cyclic graph model. YARN, a distributed resource manager that allocates and controls access to the resource of the cluster manager. And in addition to the core, Hadoop has a rich ecosystem that supports SQL and NoSQL streaming, real time, and interactive applications. Let me describe the main concepts for MapReduce. Hadoop MapReduce is a programming and runtime framework for analyzing datasets stored in HDFS. It's designed to let you write applications that rapidly process vast amounts of data in parallel on a large cluster of compute nodes. MapReduce jobs are composed of user-supplied map and reduce functions. Map subdivides tasks into smaller subtasks and sends across various reducers. Reduce combines the subtask and reduce cardinality. And so what is Azure HD Insight? It's a standard Apache Hadoop distribution offered as a managed service on Microsoft Azure. It's based on Hortonworks data platform. It can be provisioned as clusters on Azure that can run on Windows or Linux servers offers capacity on demand, pay-as-you-go pricing model. It integrates with Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Store for Hadoop file system. Azure Portal for management and administration. Visual Studio for application development and tooling. And in addition to the core, HD Insight supports the Hadoop ecosystem. Let me now describe the Hadoop ecosystem and how HD Insight covers this. At the very core, there is the distributed storage and distributed processing with MapReduce. Data processing with Pig and with Hive and also HCatalog. There are packages for graphical representation, statistical processing and also machine learning with Mahout. And the ability to integrate 
with Microsoft with JavaScript and .NET languages. Data integration can be achieved with ODBC, Scoop and REST. This allows integration with SQL Server, event-driven processing and business intelligence with Power BI and analysis services. And then there are various other data processing modules that complete the very rich ecosystem delivered with HD Insight and Hadoop. HD Insight is the right customer choice for deployment on either Windows or Linux. Customers can select Linux or Windows clusters when deploying big data workloads into Microsoft Azure. HD Insight supports Hive. Hive is a data warehouse software built on Hadoop that allows you to query and manage large data sets in distributed storage using a SQL-like language called HiveQL. Hive is an abstraction on top of MapReduce, and when run, Hive translates queries into a series of MapReduce jobs. Dramatic performance gains can be achieved by using Stinger and Tez. HD Insight supports HBase, and HBase is an open source NoSQL database that is built on Hadoop and modeled after Google Bigtable. HBase provides random access and strong consistency for large amounts of unstructured and semi-structured data in a schemaless database organized by column families. HD Insight supports Mahout, and Mahout is a scalable library of machine learning algorithms that run on Hadoop. Using principles of statistics, machine learning applications teach systems to learn from data and use past outcomes to determine future behavior. HD Insight supports Storm, and Storm on HD Insight allows you to create distributed, real-time analytic solutions in the Azure environment by using Hadoop. HD Insight supports Spark, and Spark is a parallel processing framework that supports in-memory processing to boost the performance of big data analysis applications. Spark works for SQL, streaming data, and machine learning, and it can deliver queries up to 100 times faster than traditional big data queries. Developers can use HD Insight tools for Visual Studio to connect to HD Insight clusters and submit Hive queries. Azure easily integrates with existing IT environment through the largest network of secure private connections, hybrid database and storage solutions, and data residency and encryption features, so assets stay right where they are needed. With Azure Stack, you can bring the Azure model of application development and deployment to your data center. Azure hybrid cloud solutions give the best of both worlds. More IT options, less complexity and cost. There is no need to purchase or maintain hardware with Azure HD Insight. With HD Insight, you can deploy Hadoop in the cloud without buying new hardware or other upfront costs. There's also no time-consuming installation or setup. Azure does it for you. You can launch your first cluster within minutes. HD Insight in the cloud bypasses capacity planning. It handles any amount of data, scaling from terabytes to petabytes on demand. Spin up any number of nodes at any time, Microsoft charge only for the compute and storage that is used. Azure is mission critical and enterprise ready. This is a managed Hadoop service backed by an SLA. You can get three nines of availability and 99.9% .9 uptime. HD Insight auto replicates data automatic with geo-replication of data, and data only replicates within the same geopolitical zone. Azure handles all maintenance tasks in HD Insight, so the focus can be on strategic work. Operating system patching and security updates are performed automatically by Azure, requiring minimal IT resources for upgrades and patching. Hadoop versions are rapidly released throughout the year, and so the latest version of Hadoop is always soon available without effort. This helps minimize IT effort to update the Hadoop versions. Azure is a low-cost solution for an organization. Open source does not mean free. 
Deploying Hadoop on-premises still requires servers and skilled Hadoop experts to set up, tune, and maintain them. A cloud service lets you spin up an Hadoop cluster in minutes without upfront costs. In the Microsoft Azure Cloud, HD Insight is billed by usage. You pay only for the compute and storage that is used and when it is used. Spin up an Hadoop cluster, analyze your data, then shut it down to stop the meter. Clusters should be deleted when no longer used. You can create a Hadoop cluster in minutes and add nodes on demand. The cloud offers organizations the immediate time to value.